Hi, welcome to a new episode of Air Gun Masters. We're here at the amazing Brook Valley Shooting Ground. I've got my two oppos with me, Mick Garvey. Hi. Neil Thornycroft. Morning. And today we're looking at the amazing sport of target sprint. It's a fairly new sport to the world of competition shooting. It involves running, it involves shooting. Now I think between us, we can probably do the shooting, but maybe not so much the running. But we'll come on to that when we've got some special guests who will be critiquing our running and shooting abilities slightly later on. Target Sprint is a new sport that Air Arms are heavily involved with and they've luckily supplied us with all the kit today. So, before we go too far, let's watch a great video and that will explain to us what Target Sprint is all about. We're here today to run the British Series Target Sprint Championships. You run 400 metres, knock down five targets with an air rifle, run 400 metres, knock down five targets, and then run 400 metres to the finish line. It's a good mix of two sports coming together, shooting and athletics. I work for British Shooting as the events and commercial coordinator and sort of leading Target Sprint. Target Sprint in Great Britain has not been around that long and especially in the last 12 months the development of it has been fantastic. So this time last year we held our first National Series Final which was a great success and I'm really excited to be standing here 12 months later after our second National Series which has been supported so kindly by Air Arms held at our first regional centre here at Yate Outdoor Sports Complex. We have developed over the last nine months a Great Britain team. They went to Seoul in Germany in June, the first representation of Great Britain in a World Championships. Entered 14 events, none of the athletes came outside of the top 10 and we had three teams and individuals come forth. So an amazing performance from some incredible athletes. With developing Target Sprint, we've had a partner, Air Arms, They've been a great promoter of the sport, a great mentor. They have helped with the development of the sport. The Air Arms experience has been a fantastic opportunity for British Shooting to engage with the public about Target Sprint. We've been involved with the experience since the Midland Game Fair this time last year and there's been some fantastic results from those events. Today, George Smith won the Youth Boys category, took part in Target Sprint at the Midland Game Fair. He'd never picked up a rifle before, he'd never thought about Target Sprint, didn't know it existed and thanks to the Air Arms experience, 12 months later he is national champion. That's just one successful outcome that has been a great way for British Shooting to get our sport out there and actually meet the public and welcome them into our wonderful sport. All of this journey with British Shooting and Air Arms wouldn't have been possible without all of the support from venues and all of the athletes' parents, which are now becoming Target Sprint coaches. So it's got to be a massive thanks to them, otherwise nothing of this would have happened. Thank you so much for everyone who has helped today. It certainly wouldn't have been able to be possible without our wonderful volunteers, our coaching staff. There is such a list of people for this event. This is not the end, it's just the beginning of this new sport. Oh. 400 metres, five shots, 400 metres, five shots, and another 400 metres. <laughs> Maybe 30 years ago. Are you kidding us? 1200 metres in total. 1200 metres. Have you seen us? Look, 
I've got two busted Achilles tendons, a dumb meniscus, Farmer Giles, many other things. Mick's got trench foot. I mean, <laughs> Bro actually, broken, was, broken toe, broken toe, and broken I, toe. And I have my knee replaced. <laughs> He's got a false knee. Oh my lord! <sighs> Comedy value. Right, I'm guessing our coin. This is going to go to one of the girls, isn't it? It's not going to us. Um, I don't think we're going to be doing 400 metres today. Not because we don't want to, but because we'd be dead. So I think what Emily's got planned, the sadist that she is, we'll put a picture of Emily up. I'm sure you remember her from the, uh, the shooting video we did at West London, is we're going to shoot the target. We're going to do 20 metre or 40 metre lap around a cone, back, shoot another five and things like that. So that way, you still have some presenters left for the other three videos. What do you think? Good plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, so what, what do you guys think about target sprint? I mean, Neil, yeah, what did you think of the video? It sounds really exciting, doesn't it? It's, um, yeah, it's, um, I think you've got to be fit to do it because like yeah. I say, we, when we get to uh, 50 plus, we are not as fit as we used to be. So, thing uh, is, did you see in, in the video, there was that amazing uh, person who was like, to be honest with you, he, I didn't actually see, because I think I only see from the back, I couldn't see if it was a he or a she, so I apologise. But he was a big lad or lass. Yeah, yeah. And I was think, having I think, a, I think it was, was a lady, having, a young lady, yeah. Having just, a good having old a really crack good at fun. it. Yeah, yeah. Whereas we're too easy to, like, not have a go. And I think that's yeah, the good thing about the target sprint. Look, you're as thin as a racing snake. Not really. Yeah. I've got a big, big jumper on hiding everything. <laughs> if, you're, if you are a little bit overweight and you do want to get fit, then I suppose target sprinters... It does yeah, yeah, a perfect you way to do fit. that. Yeah, you're really, enjoying shooting at the same time. If you're shooting and want to keep fit, then this looks like an idea way to do it. Yeah, it and you don't actually. have to do the 400 metres. You can, yeah, you, you, can, you can do 100 metres, you can practice yeah. whatever land you've got and, and work up to that. And do you know, I suppose we're, we're going to get onto this in a minute, but I mean, this, the, the guns that are used are MPRs with, um, with dive designs. But I reckon you could use something like an HW100 with a red dot. Mm. Yeah. It, you know, if you didn't want to fork out and buy a, a specially sub six well, foot. Even some of the old 10 meter sort of rifles, like the old Fireman Bow 300s. Yeah, like perfect. Target stuff, that'd be ideal. I've, I've, They're I've only got, 250, 300 pounds. I've got a red dot set up on one of my own air rifles, like just for like yeah. when I'm in certain areas, it works well. Yeah. I'm keeping the weight now, I'm not carrying a big scope now, I'm keeping a nice light gun. Yeah, it definitely works. Well, I think as we're talking about <laughs> guns, should we nip over to the range? And, uh, and have a look at this MPR with the older diopter on it and, yeah. and see what it's like to shoot. Yeah, let's nice nice see the equipment. Come on. Well, this is a gun that's fairly familiar to me, Air Arms MPR. This one's supplied by Air Arms through Premier Guns, but it's definitely a little bit different to the one I shoot in, or have shot in HFT. Do you know anything about these, Neil? Uh, not a lot really, I'm, uh, I've not shot target sprint before, but uh, I have shot uh, bow target and uh, I'm fairly used to diopter sights, Do so yeah, it's, uh, it's fairly familiar, but not shot uh, at six foot pounds at uh, all target sprint before. Yeah. Have you shot diopters before? No, not, that's what really took me out of my comfort zone, uh, looking through that for the first time I wondered what the hell I was looking at. Uh, You've already had a go with it? No, today. I think Neil's been, I think Mick's been practicing <laughs> before we were here. <laughs> so, all right, so you had a couple of shots with it before we got here. What we do did. you think? It's a lovely gun, like I said, six foot pound. It seems a lot of under pounds to what I'm used to. Uh, but it's definitely accurate. The eye, the, the up to the eyepiece certainly takes some getting used to. Uh, well, I mean, I'm, I'm certainly looking forward to getting a yeah, go with yeah. it. I mean, you zeroed this up earlier, yeah, didn't you? Know, a couple yeah, of days ago, yeah. and you liked it. But, well, I say that this is a six foot pound with diopter sights specifically for target sprint. And that is the thing. A lot of people who do target sprint use the MPR in six foot pounds, but you could use an HW100 in six foot pounds. You could use a gun power edge. There are plenty of rifles you could use. If you want to practice, I suppose you could even use a red dot sight like we spoke to a little while ago. But I think what we need to do now is I think we need to get it on the range. I think we need to shoot it. And I think we need to have some fun. So. Guys, what do you think? Get some pellets and go shooting? Let's go for it. Excellent. Now, you've met us, Mick and Neil. Now it's time to meet the ladies team because this is what we're going to do, boys versus girls. First is Shooting in Country TV's digital editor, Emily. Hello. <laughs> now, we all remember Emily. She's the woman who absolutely kicked my backside with a 3006 <laughs> down at West London. She is a complete ringer and she's a much better shot than she likes to give herself credit for. Thank you, 
Next, we have Alma. Alma is a pistol shooter, shoots a Steyr LP50 and is one of the country's top junior shooters. Would you agree? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> and then we have, sorry, Marlin. Is she, sorry, is she your mother? Yes. We have Marlin, who's Alma's mother. Now, Marlin is a, uh, a game shooter, would you say? I'd say so, more but, than... but your experience with like six foot, six five Swedish shotguns yeah. and all stuff like that. Yeah. So three very competent lady shooters, three <laughs> middle-aged, morbidly obese and slightly rubbish men shooters. So this should be fun. Now, the girls, as they're all young and fit, wanted to do 400 metres, five shots, 400 metres, five shots, 400 metres. But as that would result in our death, we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to do a short version of target sprint. We're going to start here and we're going to run 20 metres in that direction, around a cone and back. We're going to take five shots at five targets. For every shot we miss, we're going to score a 20 second penalty. We're then going to run 20 metres back to the cone and back. Another five shots after we've reset the target. And then once we've done that, we're finished. We're doing it as a relay. All three girls to go first, all three guys to go second. Combined score. And if any of us dies, that actually gets a one minute penalty. <laughs> Sound good with everyone? Perfect. Let's get on with some shooting. <laughs> Please wait. Yeah. And time, and time, 8.24, two, two misses. Well, we've all had a go at target sprint and we've all survived. Now that was a lot of fun. But I'll tell you what, it showed one thing. To the right, us fellas, we're all used to shooting in the field. So we all gave right hand edge because that's the way the wind was blowing. The two ladies on the outside are both used to shooting high powered rifles, which wouldn't take any wind at that range. Alma, you shoot indoors. So on this experience, experience and going second, one out. you had that advantage. Well, I think that's just sore losing. <laughs> but it would be fair to say that we destroyed, smashed, humiliated. Absolutely made a mess of them. Oh, yeah, I'm... absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I think the thing here, Let's face it, if it had been over 400 metres, and I, I think you'd have destroyed us. But as it was our little course, I think it was great. But I think the winner of today has got to be Alma. So the air gun master for target sprint is Alma. Well done. 
And all that leaves us to say is a huge thanks to Brook Valley, a huge thanks to Premier Guns, to Air Arms for supplying the target and the rifles. And we've had a brilliant day. Everyone agree? Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Thank you so much, and we'll see you on the next episode very, very soon. Ta-da. Bye. Bye.